Hey guys, this is gonna be an unusual one. We're watching a cartoon child play a doctor. I know Z Dog MD has done this before, so cheers to him for the idea. But if I'm gonna teach anybody about medicine, I like to teach kids. <laughs> That's one confident doctor. Can you imagine if I walk into a patient's room and be like, Dr. Mike really knows his stuff. I want to do the blood pressure cuff like that on my patients and they just float up. Be good times all around. Hi, Hi Mom. Emmy, I just saw your mom outside. Time for you to go home for dinner. Okay, thanks. Why do I feel like Doc McStuffin's mom is an actual doctor? She had kind of the doctor bag, the doctor white coat. How was work, Mom? Did you have any cool patients? Oh. Nothing too interesting, just a few colds. Oh, and a sprained finger. It sounds like she's a family medicine doc because she's seeing people with colds, minor musculoskeletal complaints, which means that there's something wrong either with the muscles, nerves, or skeletal system, like the bones. I'm the type of doctor that Mama McStuffins is also. She could be also an ER doctor. I have a really interesting patient. <laughs> Ooh, if you need a second opinion, you know where to find me. Aw. Okay. So a second opinion is exactly what it sounds like. When one doctor says, here's what I think is going on, they can go see another doctor and the other doctor can lend their opinion and say, well, here's what I think. And they can either agree or disagree and then the patient can choose whose plan to follow. The doc is in. We have a new patient. Ooh. Ooh. Come on out, Jack. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha! Big Jack's the name. Poppins my game, and here's ha <laughs> ha! Little Jack, you okay, Little Jay? You're not quite popping like yourself today. He's gonna be okay, right, Doc? You can fix him, can't you? Don't worry, Big Jack. Little Jack's in good hands. That dinosaur just gave the perfect answer. When someone's going to see the doctor, you don't want to promise that everything is going to be okay because you may not know. Little Jack is in good hands. That's the ideal way to speak as a doctor. That we're going to try our best. We're going to figure out what's going on. We're going to come up with a plan. You never want to promise anything. In medicine, there's a lot of times the outcomes are outside of our control. Hi, Little Jack. Aw. Hi, Doc. I want to help you so you can pop up like you used to. Why don't I give you a checkup? <gasps> There's actually a secret that I'm going to share with everybody right now that comes from some of the leading psychologists across the world that I use in my office to get kids to trust me with their care. How often do you hear a doctor say something like, if you get this shot, you're going to get a lollipop or a sticker. That's good. But the better way to do it is to give the lollipop first, to give the sticker first, create a rapport, get on good terms, be happy together. Then they're more likely to trust you to get the shot, to allow you to look inside their ears and mouth. That's the secret. Hey, little Jack, you want to pick out a sticker that you can put on your box when you're done? No way! Did Doc McStuffins just steal my secret that I shared with you guys? She's giving him a sticker before it starts. This is the theory of reciprocation. She's a genius. Why don't I give Big Jack a checkup first so you can see what I'm going to do? Ready when you are, Doc. See, this is a great strategy. I'm super proud of Doc McStuffins here. What she's employing is like a phobia desensitization strategy. Basically, she's allowing Little Jack to see what happens because the biggest phobias happen when you fear the unknown. <laughs> All right, I'm calling out the medical inaccuracy in Doc McStuff. <laughs> She's taking a blood pressure using a sphygmo manometer. However, in order to properly do this, you need to not only see the pressure, so you need some sort of gauge, but you also need to put on the stethoscope and put it on the person's artery to hear the sounds. <laughs> looks good. What? How does she know it looks good? Use your stethoscope, Doc McStuffins. Now use this light to look in his eyes and ears. Whoa. Red flag, we don't use the same instrument to look in the eyes and ears. The ophthalmoscope, which is the device that we use to look into the eyes, is flat, so you can't hurt the person. You gotta be careful. Okay, Big Jack, open wide. Ah. Well, Big Jack, that's it. He look healthy to me. What about his heart and lungs, Doc McStuffins? I need a complete physical exam. You need to look at the whole patient. I see the problem. Ooh. What is it? 
Your clothes are stuck in your music box. That's oh, why you can't. That's the classic condition known as uh, shirt gyro shirto gear stuck king syndrome. This looks to me like a clear case of can't pop itis. Oh come on, hers is so much better than mine. So if you have anything with an itis at the end, that just means inflammation. So I don't know why it's called can't pop itis, but A for effort. Almost got it. There. Wow. <laughs> I did it. I can pop up again. When kids get sick, they get really down. They have high energy levels and they get really sick and parents get scared, rightfully so. When children start feeling better, they pop, ironically, pop back to life really quickly. <laughs> Smooth with a little wing. Only one more left before Ricardo wins the race. Come on, you can do it. Whoa, wait, what's wrong? Don't tell me Doc McStuffins is a mechanic too. I'm sure there's just something wrong with him. Why don't I see if I can fix it? Good idea, Doc. And while you're doing that, I think today might be one of those days that Donnie needs a little nap. That's a dad who knows what he's talking about. When you don't sleep enough, you get cranky. Put me down and I'll show you that I still have plenty of zip. Great. And I can observe what's happening to you. <laughs> I, I, I can't go on. It sounds like the symptom is called dyspnea on exertion. It's basically when you get really tired and short of breath and you can't catch your breath, when you're trying to be active, like run around or walk around. You'll be back to winning races in no time. You mean I can be in the best race car ever race? I hope so. See, again, she's not over-promising. She's saying, I hope so. What are you gonna do, Doc? Oh, look at Doc McStuffins washing her hands before seeing the patient. Doctors should always do that before and after seeing the patient. This type of hand hygiene decreases the likelihood that the doctor will be spreading infections to patient to patient and also to herself. Open wide. <laughs> oh, that's a good. Looks normal. That's a good Can one. Can you say ah uh, for me? Okay, now can you give me a big vroom vroom? So the vroom vroom is like take a deep breath for me. I see the analogies. Ricardo, you raised like a bajillion times last night, right? Yes, a bajillion, exactly. And when was the last time you recharged? Oh, you you mean my battery? So oh, I, I don't remember. Several days ago. Just like I thought. You must be out of energy. Tell me Doc McStuffins is talking about burnout. She's tackling one of the biggest issues of our time. Sometimes our batteries run out of energy and we need a recharge. I have a diagnosis. Oh, I wanna hear it. I'm gonna call it low battery, <laughs> itis. No room rheumatosis. Oh, no room rheumatosis. Oh, That's my. not bad. Could you plug Ricardo in for me? I think he wasn't working because he was run down. So he needs to recharge. Sure thing, sweetie. I am so fast. Eat my dust. <laughs> oh, he's dreaming. See, when we recharge, it could mean that we take a nap. It could mean we go on a vacation. It could just mean we take our cell phones and put them away and take a break from looking at all of these social media sites and everything else. I can't believe I'm getting all this philosophical stuff from watching Doc McStuffins. Oh, oh, oh wow! Oh, I feel great! Do you see? Do you see how fast I am? <laughs> you win again, Doc. Doc McStuffins seriously knows how to laugh and learn. So check out this playlist I put together for you and I'll see you there being happy and healthy. See you in that one.